Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bob Explains Better. I'm here today to talk to you about hand injuries and specifically repetitive stress injuries, carpal tunnel, and things like ulnar nerve impingement and what you can do at home as a remedy for yourself, the products that might help you the most as you start into your journey of recovery and weigh your options both surgically and non-surgically. And again, this is my, my personal perspective having recovered from a hand injury and I hope this video is useful to you whether you are a gamer, uh, a person who's stuck at home with COVID and you're just finding that the use of your hands has been wearing on you um, or anyone else who's found themselves in a position where they're mechanically using their hands a lot and now they're having things like carpal tunnel or pain. So what I'll cover off in this video is a quick map of containing this problem, managing your initial pain, your initial recovery, what that looks like and how to start getting better and hopefully start to feel some relief if you're in pain now and some longer term management. I'm also uh, the type of person that I'd rather point you to the resources that I've found most helpful than paraphrasing and parodying those resources myself. So I plan to do this as a one take informational video just to get the information out there and hopefully start helping the community. And I really appreciate those of you who have liked and commented and subscribed. It's been valid validation that this channel is helping people and uh, really encouraged me to put some thought and intentionality into making these videos as helpful and as organized as possible. So uh, first and foremost, um, containing the problem. If you have found yourself with a hand injury, the number one most important thing to do is stop using your hands for a while. I found myself with a hand injury in you know September of last year. This was pre-COVID. I was working a ton on a very unergonomic setup with a laptop. And after a work trip, I found myself in such pain. And it was the combination of doing many things with my hand, uh, hands excuse me, at the same time. So I was typing on a plane, it wasn't ergonomic. I came home, uh, I enjoyed some gaming. I had a wonderful afternoon with my kids. I uh, did some work in the garden, some weeding and uh, you know pinching motions with your hands. And I played some guitar that evening. Uh, you know, I'd been away from my home for a while. I was looking forward to doing all of these things. I enjoyed them. And by the end of the day, I had this interesting sensation I'd never experienced before. My hands were going a bit numb and uh, it concerned me and they felt a bit clumsy, so I stopped using them. But in the middle of the night, I had this terrible, awful burning sensation in my hands. It was so bad that it actually woke me up. And uh, this was, you know, again, September of uh, 2019. We're now in October of 2020, and I can tell you with confidence that my hands are mostly recovered. I'm probably 90% of the way there. And what I'll show you in this video is all the products and the techniques that I've used to improve that hand health. So um, to keep this brief and not long-winded, to contain the problem, uh, the most important thing for you to do is to stop using those hands, give yourself the relief, and follow some great tips. Dr. Levi is a fantastic channel. Uh, you know, he has a great understanding of the orthopedics of the tendons. He's a practicing physician. Um, I went all the way to getting, you know, ultrasound of my hands, a nerve conduction study to see if I had carpal tunnel because I have good health insurance. Not everyone has that luxury, um, you know, and can pay for that or afford that. So what you can do is follow tips like this because no matter what, whether you get surgery or not, I did not end up getting surgery. I opted not to do that to manage my repetitive stress injury. Uh, this is going to help you a lot. I really love the five minute break every 60 minutes. If you wear any type of reminder technology, set yourself an alarm on the hour just to take a break. Uh, he goes over specific stretches, tiger claw, you know, fists, you know, uh, tabletops with your hands in this video. And all of these motions, taking the time to really stretch back are very, very helpful. Another thing that I want to state there is that working out, so doing push-ups, doing pull-ups where you're stretching those tendons and staying physically active. I love bike riding. It's a wonderful season to do that. That's really helped my recovery as well. You don't notice it right away, especially if you have an initial injury. Okay, It's going to take some time. Uh, you can manage it with some aspirin, some ice, some heat pads, etc. 
uh, those are good foundational basics. And uh, you know, the hands in warm water once a day is a great suggestion. I typically just do this in the shower now because I'm in a place where I'm comfortable and I take longer showers because I got two young kids at home, right? So I have a little bit more time in the hot water. It's good enough if that's all you can get. It's also awesome, like in the beginning, I was taking a bucket, filling it with ice from my freezer and putting my hands in it, rotating it into the sink with hot water. The pain was that bad. I needed the extra relief at that time. So do your stretches, take your breaks, um, and make sure that you get that soaking back and forth. It really helps for initial pain management. Um, stretching each digit individually is also extremely helpful in terms of just helping loosen that tightness that's causing some of these different conditions. Now, in terms of defining the problem, right? When you, when you think about a repetitive stress injury, this is uh, something that's caused by the repetitive motion. If you think about typing, doing the same motion over and again, or if you're a musician, you're playing along a fretboard or whatever that is that you're playing, right? You're gonna have that repetitive motion over and over again, and eventually these uh, nerves from the repetitive motion uh, can cause issues. Or if let's say uh, you've gone through a pregnancy, uh, you know, you're getting older and your hormones are changing, there can be natural changes that affect the nerves and the tendons uh, and can cause some of these conditions to arise later in one's life. Um, I never even thought about these things when I was, was younger, right? Uh, you're invincible to repetitive stress injuries. Now in my 30s, uh, this is very much a prevalence in my life and using good ergonomics. I have a, a sit-stand desk. Uh, you know, making sure that you're actually sitting in an ergonomic way is foundational to making sure that you don't continue to have problems and injuries that started this problem for you to begin with, okay? So going back to this map and, and the next things to cover. So I, I talked a little bit about my story, the timeline of this being about a year to reach full recovery. I really started to feel relief after a few months, but uh, the day-to-day -day management of this is a chore. And I'll talk about what that looks like as someone who has a remote job in COVID and spends a ton of time using my hands every day, okay, including all of my hobbies. So uh, we covered containment. The initial recovery phase is really what I'm gonna dive into now, and then we'll start talking about long-term management and relapses. So this is a good place to um, reference some of the products that I've found most helpful. And I'm not linking you to every product because as you can see on my desk, I've gone through a lot of options. Let me save you some time, some money, and some frustration in this video by just sharing with you that some of these are better than others, and I'm gonna really emphasize that the ones on this list have made an impact for me, and when I cover each of them in about 15 to 30 seconds, uh, that's all the detail I'll go into. If you have questions, feel free to leave a comment, or I can uh, interact with you via chat. So, uh, number one, make sure you brace your hands. Uh, bracing your hands is incredibly important the best product that I've found are these comfy braces. They're easy to wrap around the hand. They fit in the hand just like this. They wrap around and uh, you know it's a great ergonomic kind of everyday use fit. Uh, it's good for working out. It's good for typing. It's not too restrictive. It allows good motion in the hand if you're a gamer and uh, you, know, you have to aim with specific precision. Uh, so very, very useful product. Of the products I've tried in that category, I lost my comfy braces while playing with my daughter a few weeks ago. I ordered basically an imitation of that. In the days of COVID, a lot of these companies buy these in mass and then they just put a brand name on them like Comfy Brace and it's really the same product. So if you search for a similar or an analog product to the, to the Amazon affiliate link that I'm posting in chat, that's fine. Um, you know, I won't get five cents or whatever the referral bonus is for giving this information. Uh, but generally speaking, guys, this is all the same stuff. Go with one that has five-star reviews, thousands of reviews. Just be cautious of the fact that many of these reviews also are inflated because these companies might give a specific kickback um, you know, to, you know, if you fill out a form with your information type thing, especially products that come from China. So you do have to question the quality. Now, the Comfy Brace, superb quality. You won't have that issue with it. The Harui uh, wrist pack, this is uh, something that's kind of a, a circular uh, around the wrist brace. Uh, you know, a, a good image of what this looks like right here. 
right? So a lot of people use it when they're doing push-ups. I used to love breakdancing. This was fantastic for when I was training and I was having issues with wrist strain. Um, I, I do prefer the comfy brace now, having it wrap around the thumb. I just feel like that extra support is better. Um, but as you can see, I purchased this item in November and I've, I've gotten a lot of use out of it since then. So uh, ergo chair armrests. If you don't have something to rest your elbows on and it gets you in a nice ergonomic position, uh, you're definitely lacking, right? So keeping ergonomic is key. Uh, find something comfortable for yourself. The product that I have listed in this description is one that again, just ensuring that you've got a good ergonomic station. If you're using those hands, you want to baby them, especially if you're already experiencing a problem, it's going to be worth every dollar of your investment. Night braces. Okay. Night braces are 100% the most important thing. If you ignore all the advice in this video so far, uh, you know, and you have to only choose one or you're really constricted on a budget, night braces are fantastic. These don't work for the day, right? There's a huge metal, uh, you know, post basically inside of this that gives it rigid support so it can't bend, right? This is the kind of traditional, if you were to walk into CVS brace that you could buy just off the shelf. The difference is that you won't get the quality and you won't get the benefit of 7,000 reviews on Amazon or something like that where you're feeling confident that this product is really gonna, gonna work for you. So what I love about this is that you go to bed with this on at night and again, your hand just fits uh, like so, but you'll notice that there's a, you know, it's double-sided, so it could work for either hand. Make sure when you're getting these things that you're ordering two, right? So you have one for each of your hands. If you're experiencing an injury in one side, it's likely uh, that the other side will start to have other issues to compensate if you, and you start to kind of lean into using that side more. You see this with runners, you see this with athletes. If they injure one side, the other often takes stress, um, especially knee injuries, hip injuries, but this is especially true if you're doing the same stuff with your hands, right? So uh, get some night braces. Again, you can hear the solid support that this provides. It's great. It keeps it straight. It prevents any of that flexion uh, that could be exacerbating these, uh, really not getting the relief. Uh, I have another friend with a hand injury that swears by these, and this is the only thing that he does. Uh, he doesn't do all the daily management that I do, and he's had very good benefit. Okay, so uh, icing and hot therapy. Um, I love this, and it's really made an impact for my day-to-day -day pain management. My favorite band, uh, brand, <laughs> my favorite band, is this simple TheraPak. And uh, you can find, you know, again, competitive analogs of these online. But what I love about these is that uh, they're simple to take out these little reusable ice packs. So you'll notice that mine are actually Mr. Ice. Again, I've tried lots of products uh, over my time. I'm trying to save folks a little bit of time, money, energy, and effort by doing this in a review format and going through these quickly with a lot of information. So um, I, I bought a Mr. Ice thing. It was for ankles and hands because it came with a few extra um, ice inserts. And that's what I've linked here for you below. They also fit into the TheraPak. So I have about four of these. I keep two all the time, basically, just cooling. And if I need to use two, it gives me a nice rotation. Just think about it as extra bullets in your chamber, if you will. You have the ability to just swap this out, okay? So uh, it's, it's great. It wraps around the hands very conveniently. Again, um, these just slip right back inside. This is actually a little bit harder because when it's frozen, it just, you know, it's stiffer and it slides right back in. But as you can see, you slide your thumb in and it just wraps right around the wrist and it, it makes a nice support and it gives you that hot or cold therapy. Um, I like to put it on a plate and set it in there for about 15 to 20 seconds and just test it with my fingers. If I'm doing heat, you don't want to burn yourself. It can get really, really hot, especially in the microwave. And if I'm doing cold, I stick it in the freezer for a few hours. Again, I've got a bunch of these that are just always in there and that I can rotate in and out um, you know, to be able to use throughout the day and interchange. Now, as you transition from your initial recovery and you start to move towards long-term management, um, as a person who's a former, you know, healthcare, uh, you know, student, what I would say is that the, the case studies around active physical therapy in injury and recovery are just so strong in terms of accelerating that timeline. You don't want to be using something or overusing something if you are injured. So please speak to a physician and don't take this video as medical advice. However, what I can say is that as part of the long-term management, finding things that are 
you know, meant to strengthen. This is actually the hardest one uh, in the set that I have, and I can't even fully do it yet. But getting things that are meant to strengthen your hands, uh, such as these resistance uh, rings. Each of these has a different, uh, you know, strength of resistance and, and a firmness. Again, orange being the hardest of this lot, blue being kind of the middle, and green being the easiest. You can see just how that um, squishes quite easily. So I like that. Um, and, and it really uh, made an impact for me. I also got a lot of questions about, well, ergonomics of setup. Um, should I use a mouse pad, a certain mouse pad, a certain keyboard, a certain type of mouse? The answer is probably yes. Um, it's just that for my lifestyle, using one of those vertical mice, it really doesn't work for how I use uh, my hands day to day and it, it kind of limits functionality. If you're in a position where that functionality isn't gonna be limited by the use of that mouse, buy those things. Um, you can search that online on Amazon with little to no time, uh, but it's not worth covering in this video. What I can say is that I did not like using the wrist rest that I linked in this video, um, but I have had some people uh, tell me that that was beneficial. And the type of wrist rest that I'm referring to are ones like this one that are meant to form basically a channel for the wrist that limits that motion. The science on this is very iffy as to whether or not that creates uh, positive benefit or not. So I'm not sure it's really that valuable. The last products that I'd like to touch on in this video are um, that long-term management that has made an impact for me now for my entire year. And my favorite products are Penetrex um, and Biofreeze. There are some compelling clinical studies that indicate that the use of menthol-based applications, this is a menthol-based application, shows relief in patients with carpal tunnel, uh, and it was significant. This was a study that was done specifically in the construction industry, and it referenced people using heavy equipment like jackhammers that were experiencing numbness and tenderness in those ligaments and lots of long-term pain. So why is this significant? Well, for me, who had an undiagnosed repetitive stress, uh, stress injury, having some form of pain management between the ice, the cold, the gel, it just added a little something that even I could put that on, uh, and, and this is exactly how I'll go through the process. I take the Penetrex applicator, and these are very intelligently designed. I'm gonna try to get some focus there for you, where you know it, it's, it's like a, a kid's glue stick, okay? You just put your wrist right here, apply right, right underneath um, you know, the wrist. You can, what I like to do then is use my two hands together to spread it so I don't have stuff all over my hands. Again, I use my hands all day, and I'm done with the application. What I love about Penetrex as a product is it actually includes MSM, uh, which is an anti-inflammatory. So again, thinking that these are being overused and there's an inflammation, the anti-inflammatory is wonderful. However, Penetrex didn't do a good job of relieving my pain. It did a good job of reducing inflammation, um, which should relieve pain, but the immediate kind of tingling coolness sensation that menthol provides is not only clinically backed, but it just worked well for me. So again, you can buy three packs of Biofreeze. These are exactly the same type of applicator that I just showed you in the Penetrex. Um, and what I like to do is with my cold therapy, apply and rub as I just showed you, and then wrap the cold therapy around it. And then I have this nice uh, cooling sensation on top of the menthol, which just makes everything feel absolutely wonderful. So what did we cover in today's video? Uh, you know, containing the problem, your initial phase of recovery, some longer term management, and I'd like to shift just a moment to relapsing. You're never gonna be out of the woods with this, guys. If anyone's told you that this is a temporary thing and it's gonna get better and stay better forever, they're lying to you and you're lying to yourself. So it's very important that you understand that if you've had this injury pop up, you need to be intentional and focused on how you can manage it going forward. It's not going to go away. And that's a, that's a tough reality. And I'm sorry to have to break it to you if it's the first time you've heard it. So what I recommend is that you treat this as if it's a forever injury. And if you do that with an intentionality, you're going to get better and improve, like going up the stepping stones one at a time, okay? And if you have that intentionality and that focus, the relapses will get infrequent. I wasn't disciplined and I would overuse my hands and I had relapses all throughout this year, probably every month, okay? Getting this down, this pattern that I talked about, is what it's allowed me to maintain not only the lifestyle that I have, but the quality of the life right, that I have in doing the things that I love. So we covered each of these products. My last ask of everyone is if you enjoyed this uh, video, if you found it helpful, 
to please like, comment, or subscribe. It's just wonderful to see that positive uh, message come in from this community. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Bob Explains Better, and I hope that you get some relief from this hand injury that's been bothering you. Okay, have a great day.